everyone! I'm finally going to do the trick that I've been telling you about, about vellum and red lipstick, as you can tell. Today I'm wearing Beat Lip Liner with Red Number no. 5 lipstick. It's actually a, con um, a matte couture li lipstick that came out last year, so if you don't have it, it's okay. Just use like a, any kind of blue-based red lipstick, like um, Russian Red, Ruby Woo, Actually, you can pretty much do it with almost any red they come out with. MAC Red will be good. I don't know about Viva Glam 1. I haven't really tried it, but um, considering the trick that it does, I don't think it would look good. So, on here it looks really orange, but it's not. So, hoping this looks good, or at least I can show you. This contains vellum in it. I would go to like a MAC store or a MAC counter or any makeup counter and just ask them for a tester cup or a tester box or whatever they have and take vellum and scrape it into this little container because if you use your actual eyeshadow that's in the bin um, you might ruin it so just it's better to you know use a loose form of it uh, I know there's a pigment out there too that looks like vellum I'm pretty sure there is I don't know the name of it offhand but um, if it is you can use that too so I can open that I should have had that prepared taking your 228 brush that looks like this it's like a little lipstick brush or any lipstick brush just dab it into the vellum you don't have to get a lot like I just did because if you do it would be ridiculous um, then I'm going to have to use my camera as a mirror because I don't really have one dab this onto the bottom lip And then it just kind of gives your lips like this really pretty bluish, whitish shine. You can't really tell. It's way too light in here. But if you try it at home, it looks really, really cool. And uh, dab your lips, obviously. Then I'd wipe it off on a little tissue or something because you're going to have red lipstick on, which is why it'll ruin your uh, shadow if you get like more and more. Get white lip gloss. The clear one is fine. Um, I'm using Cushy White from Plush Glass because I absolutely love this um, this texture and everything about it. Wipe. Because I absolutely hate it when my lip gloss that's clear or white turns colors. It bugs me. So I use a little brush. So whenever a MAC artist is trying to sell you a lip brush, no, we're not just trying to get you to buy more shit. They actually do come in handy. So... Yeah, you can't really tell in here, but at home, it makes the lipstick look amazing. It just gives it this really awesome bluish, purpley kind of shine to your lipstick. So people will always ask you, what's on your lips? It's a vellum eyeshadow. Try it. It's really cool. And I've been getting messages from people about my lip ring and some people that want to get a lip ring but don't know how it's going to work with the lipstick. Yes, it does affect your lipstick. I always get it to, like, it always like fades out on this side only so I have to reapply all the time some if you don't play with your lip lip ring <laughs> I just like blanked out if you don't play with your lip ring as much as I do you might be fine but um, get a stud if you're gonna get a lip ring because then it won't affect it at all but usually I get like lipstick around like the lip area right here because <laughs> it moves you know so yeah that's my trick and um, I would post more but you know I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Um, oh, today, I don't really have much on. So, uh, thinking I have like blank type all over my eyelid. It looks like brulee or shroom with no shine. And I have um, cubic and blush baby on for my blushes. But I also use that in the crease for my eyeshadow. So yes, I do use blushes as eyeshadow all the time. But like I said before, they're not tested for the eyes, so when you do it, just be careful. And uh, that's it. Plus fluid line and then lashes. So, yeah, that's the trick. Just wanted to show you. Gotta go. Peace.